Turn the camera off. Alright. And John, can I have to say, I, like, I, I, I'm not a teen girl, so I, I haven't seen your show before, but I was, I was You were lost. <laughs> we auditioned a lot of people and he was the best. Tweens have built my empire. <laughs> and, I, and I was skeptical, but I'd say your performance easily one of the two best I've seen this year. Oh man. It, it, is, it was awesome. I think it, 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 it is a tough role to pull off, and I thought you did a great job. Well, mine and Shia's performance in Indiana Jones, right? <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? <laughs> I can't imagine you've had your heart broken like the character has. Please, absolutely, I've, I've had my heart broken and smashed and been plastered to my mom's couch, not sure if I'm gonna live or die, eating Rice Krispie treats. Have you made those pathetic phone calls? Yeah, in, in some form or another. I just try to sound much more aloof, but I'm sure it just leaks out vulnerability and please God, come back to me. Oh man, and now we're in the text message generation where you get a message from like your ex and you can interpret it any way ever. You know, she could say, have a good day, I hope, you the, I hope the best for you. And you're just like, this girl is seeing another guy and she has <laughs> totally stabbed me in the back. So. I don't get to lie on the couch or nothing. Would you like to lie on the couch? This is that a trick question. Luke Shapiro. Yeah, Get my headphones on straight. I've been thinking about your dilemma. What's my dilemma? Like Young man needs sex, Luke. All men, actually. I can get you a hooker if you like. God, I was this close to respecting you. Big mistake, Luke. Yo, let me holler for a second, I'll take you way back. Okay? Before I had a group and fans and gave that. Four white boys, wore coopies and wave caps. Around the same time, cassettes replaced the eight track. Yeah. I was born 77 to safe crack. Uh, came to oh, are you living, Luke? It's great, back. living. Get your heart broken. Find yourself face down in the gutter. Make a real mess of your life, son. This is what you tell all your patients. Yo, know, Squires, maybe we should keep this on the DL, all right? Yo, DL, quiet! Uh, it is vaguely autobiographical. The world, the music, the kind of social structure, the, the, the way kids were talking. They, I mean, these are all kind of kids I grew up with. A screwed up therapist? Never had a screwed up therapist, but I'm looking for one right now. Shrink should be like the consolation package you get after Hebrew school. <laughs> it's just so damaging. It's definitely more nerve wracking because it's so personal. Very scary. A lot more pressure for me because when you're taking someone else's script, it's your job to interpret it, you know, and that's, that's that's inherently less pressure than taking my own script and just trying not to mess it up. The fact that I went to film school and was able to work in film school, you just learn that as the director, you gotta, you gotta go and pretend you know what you're doing. And then in doing that, you convince yourself that you know what you're doing anyway. It's a slippery slope with, with a movie like this because you don't ever want to devolve into caricature and, and, or anything like that. So how do you fight that on set if you're worried about caricature, which, you know, Kingsley avoids, but you know, you can see where he's on the, the edge of it. You don't really do anything. You cast the right people. And then, and then you, if you feel like you're not quite getting something, you do another take. Um, but, but, but for me, I don't really like to give big notes because I feel like that's, you know, if someone's in the ballpark, they're gonna get there without me messing them up. And then you just cut out the stuff that feels false. And so you're, you're a minimal interventionist on set. I think so, right? Yeah, no question. <laughs> <laughs> so now that it's all done, how do you, how do you determine success for this film? If people don't go see it, I'm gonna be homeless. Really? Why don't you make that appeal to the camera? Because I think that's a good reason. Please for go to get see out. the Wackness, or I will be homeless. I'd offer for you to live with me, but we both know I live in the valley. It's not much better than the streets. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have a roof over your head. I do, for now. <laughs>